Hey, my dear Geminis, hope you are doing good. This is Luna the Moon Tarot. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So, let's see what is going to happen in the remaining days of November in your life in general. Love life, if possible. Let's see how the reading goes. This is for my dear Geminis. What is going to happen? What is it that they sh should expect in the remaining days of November? This is for my dear Geminis, please. This is for my dear Geminis. What is going to happen in the remaining days of November in the life of my dear Geminis, please? Insecure and epiphany. I see that uh, there is some sort of a breakthrough that you are getting in the month of November, in the remaining days of November. Some sort of ep epiphany that you are receiving, some sort of clarity you are receiving, something that was bothering you and now all of a sudden you are feeling enlightened on it. There are a few things that has come to the surface and now you are feeling insecure about few things, okay? Probably you are uh, feeling insecure about your future or probably there is some person that you got to know about and now you are feeling insecure about the future with this person, yeah? I think it majority of the thing actually involves love your connection with somebody your affair or the person that you have loving interest for so that's somebody that you feel uh that you know you basically you're thinking about them all right so uh definitely it does involve some love interest and somebody is actually rejected you or going to reject you in the remaining days of november right or probably you are rejecting somebody over here definitely rejection love is there epiphany is there and then insecurity for the future is definitely involved right here okay now let's see what, uh, what does the tarot has to say this is for my dear gemini's this is for my fellow signs gemini rejection is coming for you or for somebody that you are rejecting the love offer that is probably that is why you're feeling insecure I think it is you who is going to reject somebody because all of a sudden you have realized something about somebody and now you're feeling insecure and now you feel that you know it is better that I go ahead and finish it off or reject this particular offer which has been made to me. This is for my dear Geminis. This is for my dear Geminis please. What is going to happen in the remaining days of November in the life of my dear Geminis? Hmm, too much of... So, communication fast-paced communication possibility is probably you are in a long distance relationship or something and somebody is traveling or you are making some travel plans but communication is definitely happening to and fro fast-paced somebody that you're dealing with or probably you are being egoistic about uh, a certain something or that certain somebody is being egoistic towards this particular connection mm, okay so I feel that you are being egoistic. You have put your foot down and you have decided you have taken a you have taken a decision because you have received this particular epiphany. You have taken this decision, you have put your foot down and you're not ban bending backwards. You're not going back on your decision. But I see that certain somebody is actually traveling towards you with an offer of love. They want to make amends, they want you to accept their love offer. Definitely somebody who is very emotional about you is coming towards you okay they have been literally manifesting this particular union with you they have been manifesting they have been trying to stay positive but i see you abandoning them okay i see you actually rejecting them in literal sense okay there is some sort of epiphany that you have received probably some sort of clarity or information that you have received that even if they came towards you you are kind of rejecting their love offer Okay, you're totally rejecting their love offer here. Right, and we have few cards here. Correct. Death. Three of wands, three of swords. You're breaking somebody's heart, okay? You're rejecting them. You're ending the situation. You're putting a full stop on a certain, either a relationship you're moving out from and you, you know you're also feeling equally heartbroken and the person is also feeling that heartbroken you are just waiting for them to come forward and you know yeah you're not looking uh i see that this person is can be a childhood uh sweetheart 
or somebody you already uh, are aware of that person is coming forward towards you with an offer of love and you're ending the connection with them or it is something to do with uh, a relationship that you're already in you are getting some sort of clarity and you are moving on from that particular relationship and you're feeling bad about it but when you think about future you feel very insecure you don't feel stable in that connection okay that can be a long-term connection that you are in that you are ending gemini's okay you are ending what else my gemini okay hangman yeah and you are in your head you've been thinking about it a lot and that is why you have received that epiphany okay you were feeling very directionless you were you were asking for some directions some answers which you have received okay and now you're moving on okay you're breaking their hearts you're moving on you're saying no you're equally feeling bad and hurt but this breakthrough that you have received after a lot of sleepless nights overthinking healing kind of balancing and probably this person had actually abandoned you in the past that is why now you feel insecure and you're thinking that it is better that i go ahead and move on and i need to do something about my life probably i should focus on my career i should be successful in my career and i see that you you having those moments wherein you're feeling very insecure you're feeling very you know fearful and uh, but you're trying to be positive okay there are a lot a lot of people involved in this particular connection okay a lot of fights and conflicts involved but i see that you are choosing a direction and you you are actually moving on okay you are totally moving on from this particular connection you're moving on from all these conflicts all this drama this person has brought in in your life okay and somewhere down the line you are not ready to accept their love offer you feel very burdened and choked in this connection once that you thought that you know it is going to be a beautiful developing connection now you're no more interested okay you no more want to be a part of it and i think it is happening right now okay as and when the jupiter went direct you're ending all the negative chapters in your life and you're working towards positivity okay you're working towards getting a lot of abundance in your life and somewhere down the line i feel that you know you are kind of securing your love by not sharing it with that person anymore you kind of taken your investment back from that person okay now you're focusing on your work and now you're very careful to whom you're going to offer this cup of love okay i see this person is going to charge upon you totally there are a lot of fights that is going to happen when you're trying to even close off this particular connection move on this person will not make your life easy to move on okay i see six of pentacles which tells me that you know there's a lot of imbalance that was there in the past as well you're trying to balance your life and there can be some legal complications also that is involved here because i see this uh, balance the scale here so yeah possibility is that i see you are also doing a lot of ngo work you know some uh, uh, random act of kindness you've been giving helping out other people poor people and i see that you're also going out mingling with your friends trying to focus uh, on you know trying to get your mind off from all this uh, mental uh, harassment that you have gone through in this particular connection because i see that you feel very you felt that you know that this is the love of your life okay but this person was quite in and out in your life they showed something they uh served you something else and you may be even married to this person uh, you may even have children in, in case not but you were looking for forever and having children with them i see that whatever mental trauma that you are going you're trying to avoid that you're trying to come out of it you want happiness back in your life you want success back in your life you want to be happy back in your life and but i see that you are going through a lot of misery agony and few of you uh, are getting in uh, you know sleepless nights and uh, just take care of your uh, health because i see uh, some mental health issue physical health issue also cropping up so in case if you're not taking care of your health you're not sleeping properly or resting properly or um, you know eating well then there is a possibility that you may even fall sick so just take care of that dear gemini's and i'm sure that you know you're going to recover just try to handle it well in case if you think that these uh, this particular relationship that you are in which you thought that is going to be your relationship forever and you'll get married to or probably you are married to now you thinking of moving out okay you may be even giving them a cold shoulder right now so just be careful that you are handling it uh properly okay and uh, just take care of your health because i see a lot of stress and trauma coming in for you in the remaining days of november uh can be in the first week of uh, december as well so just take care of yourself and i hope uh 
that everything goes well wish you all the best all you lovely people take care this is the end of the reading i'll see you again in the next video Bye bye